My name is Mark Durrett. I'm with Overture Networks and today we're going to be looking at delivering Ethernet services over access networks. So what's the goal? The goal here is to provide standardized Ethernet services as defined by the MEF interconnecting two or more uni endpoints with a common user experience regardless of the access technology or access method that's required to uh, reach those endpoints. So whether it's business services or mobile backhaul, these individual services have different requirements. Uh, things like bandwidth and resiliency and latency are all uh, variables that can be addressed by different technologies. And contrary actually to what the media would have you believe, not all services require 10 gig or 100 gig uh, access with sub millisecond uh, latency. So, so there are options available. Now much like in the business of real estate and the valuation of real estate, uh, oftentimes the service parameters for Ethernet services are dictated by the, the uh, three key factors, location, location, and location. So in an ideal world, Ethernet services would be delivered over optical fiber, all that were connected uh, to the end customer using the service provider's network. But all too often, that's not available. Yeah, fiber optic uh, connections are not always available, and oftentimes the end customer site is outside the footprint of the service provider's um, network. So what's a service provider to do? Well, the good news is there are some options. Um, the carrier Ethernet equipment vendor community has really done some innovation here and built some equipment that allows service providers to uh, transport Ethernet services over a variety of media. So if you have voice grade copper network in the ground, you can deliver Ethernet services over that. If you have a TDM infrastructure or a Sonnet SDH infrastructure, you can deliver Ethernet services over that infrastructure. If you don't have that on your network, you can lease those facilities from another operator, deliver Ethernet services over that infrastructure. Uh, if none of that's available, terrestrial microwave is an option. So there are a lot of options outside of the optical fiber, direct connected optical fiber option. So the good news is in doing so, you can still deliver a consistent user experience over that variety of media. Now, with Carrier Ethernet 2.0, a new option has been brought forth, and that's called eAccess. Now, eAccess is a wholesale service provided by an Ethernet access provider who delivers it or, or delivers it to the retail service provider, makes it available, and the retail service provider can use it to access end customer sites that are outside that retail service provider's footprint. So in summary, it's now possible to deliver Ethernet services ubiquitously, on network, off network, across a variety of media, and across other service providers' networks, and do so with a consistent user experience and deliver a premium service offering. So I hope this video has been useful to you. Again, my name is Mark Durrett with Overture Networks, and I'd like you to know that you can always go to the MEF's website at metroethernetforum.org for more information. Or you can look, at, look for more videos on the YouTube channel. Thank you.